Hey everyone, welcome back to Amazing Cabal. In this video, we're going to share 15 practical and effective ways to improve your saving habits. Saving money can be a challenging task, especially if you're used to living paycheck to paycheck. But with the right strategies and mindset, anyone can start building their savings and achieve their financial goals. Whether you're looking to save for a down payment on a house, pay off debt, or just want to have more money in the bank, these tips will help you get there faster. So, grab a pen and paper, and let's dive into the 15 ways to improve your saving habits. Number 1. Pay yourself first. Planning and deciding how much money to deposit into your savings account each month can increase your chances of saving money, rather than relying on what's left over after paying expenses. Additionally, if you receive a raise, consider increasing the amount you deposit into your savings account accordingly. Always keep in mind that investing in yourself is crucial. Number 2. Keep track of your expenses. To initiate the process of saving money, the initial step is to determine your expenditure. It involves tracking every expense you make, including small ones like coffee, household items, and cash tips, as well as regular bills you pay every month. You can record your expenses using the method that suits you best, be it a pencil and paper, a simple spreadsheet, or a free online spending tracker or application. Once you have recorded all your expenses, categorize them into groups such as groceries, gas, and mortgage, and add up the totals for each category. To ensure that you haven't missed anything, you can refer to your bank and credit card statements. Number 3. Create a budget. Once you have identified your essential and non-essential expenses, it's time to create a budget. This involves comparing your income to your living expenses, which should give you an idea of how much you can save each pay period. However, it's important to shift your mindset about saving. Instead of considering your savings as something that you can put aside at the end of the week if you have any leftover, you should think of it as an essential cost. Just like you allocate funds for your rent and groceries, you should prioritize saving by setting aside a portion of your income immediately. This way, you won't be tempted to dip into your savings since it's already been allocated as an essential cost. Number 4. Create a Savings Goals. It's essential to avoid setting unattainable savings goals, particularly if you're new to saving or have struggled to do so in the past. Setting unrealistic targets can lead to disappointment and demotivation. It's best to start with small goals and gradually work your way up. A realistic goal for six months to a year is recommended. Determine an achievable amount that you can save during this period to maintain your motivation by proving to yourself that you can achieve it if you put in the effort. Number 5. Divide the goals into smaller milestones. After determining a feasible amount and duration for your savings goal, the following step is to divide it into smaller milestones. For instance, if you intend to save $8,000 in four months, you can break it down into more manageable time frames and amounts. Instead of focusing on saving $2,000 each month for four months, aim to save $500 per week. This approach will enable you to accomplish smaller targets, which are more feasible and can keep you motivated. The objective of this method is to establish a saving habit. Once you get used to saving, you can gradually increase your goal and aim for higher amounts. Number 6. Identify your financial priorities. Your savings goals can significantly affect how you allocate your finances after considering your income and expenses. For instance, if you anticipate needing a new car soon, you could start saving for it now. However, it's crucial to keep long-term objectives in mind, and ensure that planning for retirement is not neglected in favor of immediate needs. Knowing how to prioritize your savings objectives can provide a clear understanding of how to allocate your savings effectively. Number 7. Consider investment opportunities. If you have long-term goals like saving for retirement or purchasing a home, it's worth considering including bonds, mutual funds, real estate, or stocks in your financial plan. These investments have the potential to yield significant returns over time, but they also come with risks and no guarantees. It's crucial to seek advice from a reliable financial advisor when evaluating these types of investments. Number 8. Automate your savings. Virtually all banks provide automated transfer services between your checking and savings accounts. You have the option of selecting the amount, frequency, and destination of the transfer or even splitting your direct deposit so that a portion of every paycheck is transferred directly into your savings account. The main benefit of this is that you don't have to remember to do it, and there is less likelihood of spending the money instead. 
Additionally, you can utilize credit card rewards and spare change programs, which round up transactions to the nearest dollar and transfer the excess into a savings or investment account, as other simple savings tools. Number 9. Maintain a daily source of motivation. To stay motivated in your saving endeavors, consider placing one or two inspiring statements in locations that you see frequently throughout the day, such as on your mirror or in your wallet. These reminders will provide you with daily encouragement to keep you motivated. Number 10. Get an accountable partner. Choosing a trusted friend or family member to help keep you accountable can be an effective way to stay motivated during times when your motivation may be lacking. Select someone who is close to you, and who you trust to be authoritative if necessary. It is also important to choose someone who will feel comfortable providing honest feedback and pushing you when needed. Number 11. Find ways to cut spending. If you find it difficult to save as much as you want, consider cutting back on your expenses. Take a close look at your spending and identify non-essential items, such as entertainment and dining out, that you can reduce. Also, look for opportunities to save on fixed monthly expenses, such as your car insurance or cell phone plan. Number 12. Get out of debt. You may be skeptical about how eliminating debt can help you establish a habit of saving money. Becoming debt-free will not directly create a habit of saving, but it will make saving easier. The goal is to make saving money a habit, and eliminating debt is a crucial step in achieving that goal. When you are free from bad debt, it is much easier to establish good money-saving habits, which will lead to a more comfortable and stress-free life. Number 13. Set up your own personal rules. Create your own set of rules to help guide your financial decisions and stick to them. These rules can be simple or more complex, depending on your financial situation and goals. For example, you might set a rule to only use cash for discretionary spending or limit eating out to once a week. Having personal rules in place can help you make better financial choices and develop a consistent savings habit. Number 14. Cancel any unused subscriptions. Many companies rely on subscriptions as a source of steady income. Customers often hesitate to cancel a subscription, even if they rarely use it, due to the sunk cost fallacy. This fallacy makes canceling a subscription seem like a waste of money, as all the money spent on it up to that point would be lost. However, most people don't fully utilize their subscription services. Therefore, it's more financially sound to cancel any unused subscriptions instead of holding onto them in the hopes of using them in the future. Number 15. Set a spending limit on your card. Setting a spending limit on your credit or debit cards can be a useful strategy to save money quickly. By doing so, you can avoid overspending and proactively evaluate your daily expenses. Fortunately, many banks provide this service to their customers. And that's it for our 15 ways to improve your saving habits. We hope you found these tips helpful and are inspired to start implementing them in your daily life. Remember, building a strong savings habit takes time and effort, but the rewards are well worth it. By taking small steps every day, you can achieve your financial goals and secure a better future for yourself and your loved ones. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more helpful videos like this one.